In Destiny this month, we're looking at the point of validation. And throughout my life, I can definitely see, and even today, that I have allowed this point of validation to influence and in fact change who I am in, in any uh, given moment. So why is this a problem? Well, what happens is I guess I've created uh, patterns of reaction. So if I receive uh, what I define as a positive validation, hey, you've done a good job, hey, that was uh, um, a good blog you wrote, uh, this is a great dinner you made, um, then I allow myself to feel good and think, yes, it was, it was good. But if I don't, uh, perhaps there's uh, negative feedback or more often maybe uh, just nothing, a blank, there's no feedback, then I change who uh, I am within myself in the moment and I start to go, I react. So I start to uh, go into self-doubt, I start having inner chatter and, uh, you know, telling myself things like, um, you know, oh, this meal's crappy, you know, I didn't do a good job, oh, figures, you know, once again, I'm uh, not uh, creating something that's worthwhile. Um, I'm wasting my time. Um, I'm not good enough. And this kind of back chats then starts bringing up pictures in my mind, going back to childhood. Um, even if they're just, you know, brief pictures flashing in your mind. And I question myself and I stay stuck. That's the problem. I stay stuck in my own self-definition. You know, why do I require um, validation for something I've done, for something I've created? Uh, you know, really, when you when you look at it, if I look at my day, if I look at an interaction with someone, if I look at a meal I've created, uh, a song I've written, a blog I've written, I know when I cut corners, when I didn't create something self-honestly, and I know when I've perfected something. I know this within myself. Therefore, I can look at something for myself and assess it. I actually don't require a validation. What is um, preferable, what, it, what, what is cool is if someone, you know, gives a brief acknowledgement, you know, that's cool. Like if someone says, you know, thanks, that was a really good meal. Yeah. Um, I think that um, that's pleasant and um, something that most often we do for each other. You know, you did a good job on that. Hey, that was really cool. But if I don't receive it, instead of reacting, what I can do is stop and look at it, what it is that I have done, created, and assess it for myself. The only reason I believe I need validation is from receiving it probably as a child, um, from not receiving it, and um, I guess the way I was brought up where um, I felt that um, it possibly um, ignored and so I created a belief in myself that I was um, unimportant. And so I go back to that. I start connecting memories. Or I think of, um, you know, my mother's smiling face and telling me how great uh, something was that I had accomplished. And so I give it a kind of a, a positive spin to make myself feel good.
but by allowing another to change me in the moment is self-sabotaging and I remain stuck in these uh, definitions that limit me. If I stop and take a self-honest look at what I've done and I can assess it for myself and move forward. Okay, what do you need to change? What do you need to improve? What happened there? Um, you know, in your day that you didn't put 100% into something. And if I did put 100% into it, it's like, okay, so you don't really require anyone else. So we look at these kinds of things within the Destiny Eye process. And there is also a free introductory course um, that is offered. I will include the links to these courses below. And I highly recommend, um, suggest that you check it out because even in this one point you can see how it can greatly uh, limit you or it can also kind of open up some doors and uh, so that you can start growing, expanding and being, um, you know, more in control of you here and how you move and think and create throughout your day. Thank you.